It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home. Alright, enough of that, let's get on the episode. Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in my football manager series this is episode number nine and today it's the final episode of season one as we take on manchester united away manchester city away and chelsea at home in the final three games of the premier league season where as you can see whole city sit in 16th place two points above the drop zone and really i feel as though even though west brom mathematically aren't relegated right now it's going to be between three teams to see who gets the drop today whole city crystal palace or swansea one of these three teams teams are going down and I pray to God it's not us. So of course in the last episode you saw our relegation six pointer away in Wales where Predrag Radkovic, Raj the boy, saved a penalty with five minutes to go to prevent Swansea from winning and climbing out the drop zone and giving us a big point in our bid to survive. Uh, following that we did lose four and home to Liverpool so uh, the elation did not last for very long but we are still out the relegation zone as I confirmed just a moment ago and uh, for the final fixtures in the Premier League well how about this for the remaining three for all three relegation threatened teams. In today's Saturday's fixtures, playing one day before our game away at United, Swansea and Crystal Palace actually play each other. What a massive battle that is, and what a luxury for Hull as well, knowing that the other two relegation rivals in the table right now still have to play one another with three games remaining. That is so, so big, and secretly I'm hoping Palace will win and try and cement Swansea's position in 18th place. But today afterwards, we do indeed take on United away from home, and then next week, these are the fixtures. We're away against City, Swansea at home to Watford, and Palace play the next day against United away from home as well. And then the final fixtures of the season are going to be this. Palace playing host to Liverpool, Hull playing host to Chelsea, and Swansea away against rock bottom West Brom, who by that point are certainly down and into the championship for season two. So yeah, here we go then. Here we go. First game, and uh, it's going to happen after we find out what happens in the Swansea Palace game. I'm secretly hoping that Palace win that game. Well, I say secretly, I've said it twice now. Really hoping that Palace win that game. Let's find out together before United game how that one finishes up. Come on, Crystal Palace. Just waiting to see if we see it in a mini calendar. Is the game going to come? Are we going to find out here? Oh, yes, get in! Crystal Palace beats Swansea away in Wales 2-1. Their form continues to struggle. And that means now, with a game in hand, we could go five points clear of the drop zone. Now, in order to do that, we need to beat fifth place Manchester United away, which is going to be tough. But Palace have done us a massive favour. They're now three points clear of Swansea. And for us... Oh my goodness, we've got a chance to go five points clear of the drop with two games to spare. Palace and Sam Allardyce. Honestly, I never thought I'd be saying this, but uh, I love you both. <laughs> right now, I love you both. I really do. So, Manchester United away, our first game of the final three today. And, and what a feeling knowing we could be five points clear of the drop with two games to spare. It's highly unlikely, but come on, Hull, anything is possible. Palace haven't won in like seven games, by the way. You might have noticed in the table, they have been in a free fall um, in in recent weeks. They've not won in like seven or eight games. In fact, I think the last win for Palace actually came against us uh, a couple of episodes ago. But they've pulled out the bag when it matters most and to do us both a big favour. That is fantastic. Me and Sam Allardyce, we're, we're loving life together. So, uh, the... <laughs> So weird. Uh, this is the team for the game then, United away for our first of the final three. And uh, hopefully we'll come through at least a point in this game and that would still be big. So Radkovic in goal, back for a Timon, Renocchia, Davies and Elder right back. In midfield, Grisicki on the left, Markovic back in the team on the right after his ineligibility against Liverpool. I did well to say that word there. Uh, and Dyes in the middle, he's back in the team as well. And Henriksen is also supporting him. And up top together, Abel Hernandez and Mbakani. Abel Hernandez, by the way, guys, has scored 17, sorry, 18 Premier League goals. 18 Premier League goals. Just wanted to point it out. That's unbelievable. I mean, that is unbelievable. Uh, on the bench, anyway, Marshall Maguire, Odubajo, Huddleston, Evanjo, Ronaldinho, and Niasse. And here we go. First game, United away. Palace have beat Swansea. Now let's beat United. This would be amazing. So first highlight of the game, and United are back in their own areas. Fred plays it long, and Mata beats Josh Tymon to the ball. He'll play it long to Rashford, but there is Elwood a tackle. We can't get a danger clear, though. Rashford on the ball, turns Davies, keeps on going, beats Renokia too, and Radkovic makes the save. First highlight, nothing really major, though, for our goalkeeper to deal with. We're comfortable. We're all right with that. 
Those are the shots you'll live with. You know, those are the shots you will live with. I don't mind that at all. You want to take those shots from range. I trust my boy every day of the week. Still nil-nil. We're approaching the half an hour mark and we're still tied. And I'm okay with the scoreline. Right now we're going three points clear. The problem is that because of our goal difference record, it does mean that Swansea win just once and we fail to get more than just one point today. We will go in the relegation zone and, and we'll go down. So I feel like we'll need to win one of these three games. But for the time being... I'm uh, I'm switching off players. That's not good. For the time being, though, I don't mind this too much. You know, I do not mind this too much. Take every game as it comes. Pick up the points here and there, and uh, and you'll stay in the Premier League. I mean, maybe. You know, again, it's, it's a lot rides on what Swansea do. In fact, it all rides on what Swansea do, really. But uh, for the time being, we're okay. As Markovic whips in a free kick, and it's a penalty. It's a penalty to whole City. Anthony Martial pushes Curtis Davies, and Abel Hernandez, top scorer of a hole, can put us in front. And send us five points clear in a drop if we can hold on. We've got to score the penalty first. Come on, Hernandez. Please, please, please. Yes, get in. Abel Hernandez scores. Huller up to 16th place. United nil, hole one. What a start to this episode. We've conceded two penalties in two games, but now we've got one ourselves and we've converted it as well. Abel Hernandez, love the cheeky little celebration, makes it 1-0 to the Tigers away at Old Trafford. There's still a long way to go, but this would be extraordinary. However, oh, straight after saying that, there's a highlight for United, and uh, I'm very worried. Marcus Rashford runs inside and finds Mata, but the shot is straight at Radkovic. That's easy. Oh, and a free kick for Hull. Markovic takes it. Fred heads it clear, though. And Markovic, you've got to beat Rashford to the ball. And he does. And finds Henriksen. If we go two goals up, we're going to go mental. Curtis Davies on the ball. Back towards L. And L is in a little bit of trouble here. So he'll go all the way back towards Rashford. It's okay. I don't mind that. Play it safe. And that long kick is flicked on. Henriksen on the ball. Rolls it through. Hernandez for two. 2-0 two to Hull City. Abel Hernandez has doubled our lead and made it two for the Tigers. Just past the hour mark. A long kick by Radjkovic. Flicked on by Omikani. Henriksen found Hernandez. I honestly thought he was offside initially. But the flag stayed down. We played to the whistle. And Abel Hernandez has scored goal number 20. What would we do without him? Corner for United though. Mata takes it. And Makani heads clear and it'll drop to Jesse Lingard 22 minutes to go let's, let's not let United half the deficit let's not let United half the deficit I said it too late the ball's in the back of the net before I finish saying deficit 2-1 and uh, oh god if we throw this away the amount of points we've thrown away this season from winning positions I will never forgive myself if we go down come the end of the season and collapse in this game Surely it's not going to happen again, and surely not so soon after United scored that first goal. Lingard tries to cross. Mikitarian. Oh, God. Why does this always happen? Manchester United 2, Hull City 2. And we've already thrown away our lead inside five minutes, I think it was, of the goals being scored. I don't believe this. Mikitarian puts it into the top corner. 2-2. If we capitulate totally and fail to get anything, I don't know what to do. I would have taken a point pre-game, but post-game, I'm not going to be happy with it. Honestly, 2-2, the final score. Survival could have been all but secured after this game. We were 20 minutes away from getting those five-point gap, that five-point gap, from us to Swansea, moving up to 16th. And we threw it away so quickly. Well, Salza says we should let them know it was a big result given our underdog status. I think I agree. But I've, I've switched one of them off and two of them have lost focus. I've got to stop listening to you. That win would have put us into 16th place. 16th place and five points clear. And Middlesbrough just beat Leicester as well. I mean, they're surely down, aren't they? No, 28 points. Even they're trying to climb out the relegation zone late on. Oh my word, I, what more can Abel Hernandez do? Hernandez right now must be feeling like LeBron James on the couch. It's like, what more can I do? You know, seriously, I'm single-handedly keeping my team in this, but they keep on messing it up for me. Plus me and Tyloo are both useless as well. He's making terrible decisions, and so am I. Oh my word, 2-2, two, two. we just throw it away. How did we throw it away so quickly? It's not the fact we threw it away, it's that we threw it away so quickly. All right, come on, lads, this is it now. This is it, oh wow, oh hello. Hello, hello, whole city promotes contract renewal. Talks don't mind if I do. Before contract talks begin, the club's board would like to give you the opportunity to propose modifications to the current club vision. No, I won't bother. I'm surprised you still want me. The current agreed vision is as follows. League expectations, avoid relegation, transfer budget 10 million pounds, wage budget 800 grand a week, 
and uh, no agreed philosophies or board requests. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that every day of the week. The 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 thing is, you know, the, the money has been steadily rising since I've been selling all, all the deadwood here. Next season, if we do stay in the Premier League, which again is still a tough task, we should have a bit more money than that as well. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to stay here if they want me. And uh, and here we go. So they're going to give me 26.5 grand a week. And uh, it's a two-year deal. Let's, let's, let's cheekily ask for free. They only want two. And that's good enough for me. <laughs> that is good enough for me. I've accepted that contract. And uh, maybe, maybe that's like the rally cry. You know, maybe that's the thing to G all the boys up. You know, knowing that the manager's now going to stay, the players should be happy. I mean, to be honest, they're probably going to be negative, knowing that they're playing for me to go down. But um, anyway, I'm here for two years now, lads, so get used to it. So City away then uh, for the second game today. And, uh, and, and, and here we go. Swansea are against, oh, I forgot. Swansea are against Watford at home, which, to be honest, I can see them winning that game, which means if we don't get a point from this game, we'll drop into 18th place going into the final game. So Watford, do us a big favour. And uh, Palace play tomorrow away at Old Trafford. And despite us getting a point in that game, I'm optimistic Jose can do the job and brush aside Sam Allardyce. So um, we might be in the relegation zone come the end of 90 minutes. We wouldn't have been how he held to those three points against United. But I am going to stick with the same first 11 and tactics going into this game away at the Etihad. So Radkovic in goal, back for a Timon, Ranocchia, Davies and L. Grisicki on the left, Markovic on the right and Diane Herrickson in the middle. Up top together, Hernandez, you can't stop scoring in Bacani. And on the bench, Marshall, Maguire, Odu Bajo, Huddleston, Evandro, Ronaldinho and Niasse. And, um, and yeah, I'm annoyed. No, it could be five points clear going into this game, but it's just how it is. And a win will keep us out of the relegation zone. A point will keep us out of the relegation zone. So I'll take either. Come on, whole city. Let's do it again. And Pep is still here, by the way, for those wondering. Pep is still here. City may be underperforming this year, sitting in ninth place, but Pep is still here. So long leash for the Spaniard and uh, hopefully a long leash for me as well. Even if we get relegated, because I'd still like to continue the project, even if we do go down. But that's not the mentality we need. We need to get a point in this game at the very least. Come on. However, here is Aguero on the ball. And the first highlight comes to City. And Alito is in. And oh, Radjkovic just about made the save. I thought he fumbled that one there, but did enough to make the stop. And it's still 0 0. And number 95 trying to get back on the clean sheet wagon. And that's a really important early stop. Another highlight for City though, Gundogan on the ball back towards the right back who crossed it is Nolito, free header and he put it wide and uh, oh Swansea are winning, I just saw in the top right, Borja Baston has scored and uh, Swansea have gone in front. Now as things stand, due to our point that we're claiming as things stand now, we'll still be out of the relegation zone, oh dear oh dear what's happened there, <coughs> we'll still be out of the relegation zone but uh, it's it's not good, oh Renocchio, yes, Renocchio scores 1-0 Hull City and the Italian has scored his first goal for the club. And what a time to get it! The croaky throat of good luck. Markovic's cross flicked on by Davies and Ranocchia with the Paolo Di Canio scissor kick into the back of the net. Bravo couldn't keep it out. 1-0 hole. Oh my goodness, we've, we've taken the lead again. We did it here last week, and now we've done it again. De Bruyne's cross, so it's headed clear by Henriksen. Nolito gets on the end of it. Please let us hold on to half-time at least. Bernat finds Sane. L clears. Fernando takes his time, and rifles one against the crossbar. And then Aguero's offside. Oh, my goodness. Lucky escape there. But we're still in front. Not saying anything at half-time, because you know when you praise the boys when you're leading, they always throw it away in the second half. We did against United. We threw away the points in that game. We cannot afford to let this win slip here. And Mumbai Niang has scored in Wales. My boy, he's still my boy. He scored a winner against me earlier in the season, but all is forgiven. He scored a crucial goal, and it's 1-1 in Swansea. Come on. But I don't want to let that distract me, man. I do not want to let that distract me. I still want to pick up this win, because as things stand, it will mean our survival is secure of the game if results stay the same way as they are now. But here's Aguero, and just like that, City are back on level terms, and we're going to drop back down to 17th place. No, we're not. We're still in 16th place. My maths is terrible, but, 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 it still means Swansea can overtake us on the final day. Aguero receives the ball from KDB, and the Argentine rifles the ball past Pink Glove Radkovic and into the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. Oh, God, let's not capitulate and throw away the point. De Bruyne out wide, the right back on the ball. Does he want to cross it into the centre? Sane denied by Rajkovic. Still 1-1. We're hanging on in there. We've only played six minutes in the second half. 
Highlight for City, no more is dangerous to these breakaway highlights. Nolito is through. Radkovic turns it on to the crossbar. Oh, Pedrag, you're my boy. Another highlight for City. Sergio Aguero on the ball inside our area. Does he want to cross? Yes, he does. Sterling taps it in. And it's City 2. Hull City 1. And the hosts have come from behind to lead. And it means the gap between Hull and Swansea is going to stay at two as things stand, with Swansea still drawing against Watford. Oh man, we need to win this game. We, we need to win this game. Or at least get a point, you know, at least get a point. Another highlight though, Hernandez on the ball, down the left-hand side. Cross it in, bruv. No, it'll come towards Timer though, the kid. Crosses. Oh, bro, he's fumbled it. Yes, Markovic taps it in. Markovic makes it 2-2. Two -two. I'm sorry for shouting because I'm going ballistic. And it's 7 in the morning. We've come from behind to get the equalising goal. Minutes after, City went in front. Bravo is as bad in the game as he is in real life. Fumbles the cross from the kid Josh Tymon. And Markovic does the rest. Come on. An elder right back is going to have to come off. So, Odi Baja is going to come on for the final five minutes. And uh, hopefully, Moses will steady the ship and will collect at least a point. It'll be two in two. And I'll certainly take it. I would have liked the three points against United when we're leading by two. But we couldn't hold on. But that's okay. Because there's been no more gold updates from Wales. And as things stand, we are still three points clear of Swansea. Their draw is cancelled out by our draw. And that means that on the final game, Swansea must beat West Brom away. Which, to be fair, they should do. But if we get at least a point, just a point, that's all we need. At home to Chelsea, we stay up. Destiny is in our own hands and we only need a point. And L's injury sees him out for two months with a torn hamstring, which means he'll miss the final game of the season, obviously. And Olympiacos have decided to recall the right back. So that's okay with me. L's a pretty solid little player for us this season. Not bad in a right back role, but I'm not sure I'll bring him back next season, to be fair. But um, he, he's done his job. He's done his job. We've got ourselves that point. Two points from two. I'll certainly take that. And now if we make it three from three, we will stay in the division. It's anyone's guess who's going down, but hopefully it won't be us. I really, really, really did think we were going to get relegated comfortably in the first season. So to be sitting in 16th place going into the final game, come on, United, beat Crystal Palace. Yes, get in! 3 0. And uh, we are, we're one point away from safety. So Palace are going to need to pick up at least a point in the final game if Swansea win. And, uh, and for us, we know that Destiny's in our own hands. We just need one point. So let's just get straight to the final game. And might I add that we're getting these points with Sam Klukas out of the team. I told you, he's cursed. You know, he may have been player of the year last year in real life. I've said that about 74 times now, but he's cursed in the game. I've done the right thing. Right then, so here we go, lads. It's the final fixtures of the Premier League season. And a reminder, we play host to Chelsea. Crystal Palace take on Liverpool. And if Jurgen Klopp's side beat Palace, we stay in the division. And West Brom play Swansea. And if West Brom prevents Swansea from winning, we stay in the division. If we get a point, we stay in the division. Surely, we can't cock this up now. So here we go. It's Chelsea at home. Um, I'm very pessimistic of our chance of getting anything. But I'm hoping they're on holiday because they can't finish any lower or higher than second whereas we've got a lot more at stake and hopefully we'll be really up for it so Moses will fill in for uh, for uh, what is face L who's now gone and uh, and we shall play this team same first 11 other than that and the uh, same bench with the one addition of Robertson so Radkovic in goal back for a time in Ranocchia Davies and Odibajo on the bench Grisicki on left Markovic on the right and in the middle and Dye and Henriksen up top together Hernandez and Mbakani and on the bench Marshall Maguire Robertson Huddleston Evandro Ronaldinho and Niasse as well this is it final game of the season a point and we stay in the league come on Hull City let's get it done highlight for Chelsea though straight away is Fabregas gets onto the loose ball and plays it inside towards Rodrigo and Rodrigo Caio back towards the Spaniard Michi Batshuayi on the ball and die with the tackle we are going to miss him big time next season and Grisicki finds Umbakani and maybe a chance for us just two minutes in Markovic running down this right hand side crosses to Hernandez oh he's missed he's missed how did Abel Hernandez miss? I swear he had an open goal to aim at and he hit the crossbar from six yards. Markovic on the ball. And wide towards Grisicki. A brilliant start for the Tigers. Grisicki crosses and hits the post. Well, I don't think that was intentional, but he hit the post. It's all Hull. 
It, it, it's all Hull. 18 minutes into the game and it's all Hull City. Chelsea have not started off well. They're, they're on holiday, it seems. And of course, I'm not surprised. I said it pre-game. They've, they've guaranteed a finish in second place. We want to guarantee a place in the Premier League next season. It's a little bit more important for us, this game. And right now, we're proving that motivation over everything. West Brom have scored! West Brom have scored! Six minutes in, the baggies go in front. Goodbye, Swansea. Hull City are staying in the Premier League. It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home, it's coming. West Brom are going down and taking whole city with them. This is revenge for when they beat us 4-0 at the KCOM Stadium. They thought they're going to stay up, they're going to humiliate me, sack me and get hold down as well. Or well, how the tables have turned, Chelsea have gone 1-0 up. It's so okay though, because Palace are still losing to Liverpool at home and West Brom are tuning up on 10 men Swansea. And we're only 12 minutes away now from confirming safety and a place in next year's Premier League against all odds. I've not only kept my job, but kept Hull in the Premier League. What a season. Ronaldinho, come on for your final appearance in club football. You deserve it. Well, I'm not going to do a Phil Brown and start singing after the full-time whistle. This is the best trip I've ever been on as Crystal Palace has somehow scored two goals in two minutes and made it 2-1. There's no way Swansea are scoring three goals in stoppage time though. And uh, it doesn't mean we're going to move down into 17th place. But who cares? Because Hull City are staying in the Premier League. I'm not going to be harsh on my player, Salza. I'm going to say yeah, I'm pleased with your performance out there because we've done it. We may have lost a final game, but it does not matter. Hull City are staying in the Premier League for season to I've kept my job and this is how the final Premier League table looks Arsenal win the title by five points Chelsea finished second Spurs third Liverpool fourth United in fifth and the Saints in sixth City had a very disappointing debut year under Pep Guardiola made even more disappointing by the fact he couldn't beat us either home or away but as for the bottom three that's the most important thing West Brom rock bottom and they've been rock bottom for the entire season and Middlesbrough finishing in 19th place they go down are enjoined by Swansea City who finish in 18th place as Hull and Crystal Palace survive. Oh my goodness, what a season. The Tigers are staying up. Unbelievable first year. Bring on next season. I'm already excited. It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home. I can't believe it, I cannot believe it. Abel Hernandez, no surprise, fans player of the year with 34% of the votes. Fort and Dai would be up there to be honest. And uh, signing the season with Radkovic because he's the only signing we made to actually play games. And uh, and yeah, that's that's it then, that is it, We've we've done it. And uh, I'm going to hold a team meeting and uh, I'm going to say next season, I'm not going to say that, I'm not going to commit a David Moyes here. I'm going to say mid-table. I'm going to calmly say mid-table and everyone's happy with it. Everyone's happy with it. Now, secretly, you and I know, guys, that we will be in a relegation scrap next season. But unlike Moyes, I'm not going to be a prat and admit it publicly and ruin all the uh, confidence that my players would have and any faith in me as well as a manager. What a stupid thing that was. I like Moisey. I really do. I think he gets a lot of stick and he's a scapegoat as well. But uh, I like Moisey. That was a bit ridiculous, though. But um, anyway, it's over. We, uh, we're staying up and, uh, and that's it. I don't know what else to do. All I know is we're staying up and that's all I care about. So what I'll do is I'll show you the team report and the squad depth for those that like to see this sort of stuff. And you can see that going into season two, we're, we're going to be very thin in terms of our squad size because don't forget, L's just gone back from his loan spell, Renoki's going back to Inter, Markovic back to Liverpool, and Die back to Villarreal. Is it Villarreal? It is indeed. And also Niasse back to Everton, and Mbakani also back to Villarreal as well. Ronaldinho's retiring, Klukas is leaving. And, uh, and some of these guys will probably get sold next season, uh, such as Oli Bajo and, and possibly Dawson as well, and, uh, and maybe Marshall too. So, yeah, we're going to have a thin squad next season, but with the finances continuing to rise and our club looking pretty solid in the finance department right now, I've, I've raised the club's bank balance quite significantly since I've taken over. Are you Arsene Wenger in disguise? No. But um, I'm, I'm delighted with what has been a fantastic, successful first season. And despite all the frustration, despite all the capitulation, what an ending to the season. And uh, I really hope you guys have enjoyed season one in my Football Manager series. And we'll be back for season two very soon. So yeah, that is going to end today's episode of the Football Manager series, guys. So uh, season, I should say, guys. So series, season, either. So a big thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the season finale, then please do consider leaving a like as likes are, of course, very much appreciated. 
appreciated. And it really helped the channel out as well. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic evening. I hope my singing wasn't too off-putting. And, uh, and yeah, I'll see you for the next episode of my Football Manager series very soon. Where we'll come back for Season 2 after pre-season and the summer transfer window. Or most of the summer transfer window. And you'll see what the whole City side will look like going into Season 2. Still staying in the Premier League. What a debut year at the KCOM Stadium. Let's have more of the same in Season 2. Come on, whole City.